Worst decision of my life, terrible purchase, worst trade, bad idea, biggest shit box. Just a summary of how a lot of people felt when I bought this Jeep. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and start this video by saying I chose to buy this Jeep. I am still happy about it. I still think it was a great purchase. I still love this thing, but it is a Chrysler Fiat or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It is those things. I don't normally make these videos is what I'm trying to say. Normally, I just love my vehicles and I drive them and I fix them and I do whatever I want. This is the first one where I knew when I was buying it too. I knew, fucking knew. The thing with Jeeps is they're amazing at doing what they do. By far this and I guess now the Bronco are like the only things in their class they do what they do perfectly. For me, I needed the aftermarket support and the Broncos still kind of building theirs. The Jeeps, they have theirs. I opted for a Jeep. It's been around forever. And to be honest with you guys, ever since I seen the JL, I fell in love with like the interior. I know the outsides look kind of the same. Fell in love with the interior and I was like, bruh, I need one of these. And it turns out the JLs are built a lot better than the JKs in all previous generations. This thing is a beast at doing what it does. Now that we've cleared that up, when I was buying it, I looked into obviously some videos to see because I like doing these videos uh, where you see like what people have problems with like what should I know before I buy this thing we got people trying to say that the steering is bad because bad steering is good off-road we got people complaining about cloth seats look uh, some people aren't educated some people don't realize there's packaging levels I don't know so I'm not gonna tell you guys about like packaging options and that kind of shit. I'm gonna tell you guys about just straight up complaints that I didn't know I was gonna get when I bought this thing and number one the most important anybody that watches my channel knows I'm huge into music that's like I do a stereo upgrade in every car every time I buy one and I'm just a really big music guy after about 10 15 minutes of driving this thing you will notice the worst stereo crackling audio distortion garbage I've ever heard coming out of a brand new vehicle. It's almost like the amplifier heats up after you use it a little bit and then it gets like too hot and just starts not trying. So I got some royalty free music here so I can actually show you guys like what it sounds like. It just, listen, you'll, you'll hear it. much you guys can hear that but sounds like as if you had corded headphones in and you're like pulling the mic jack just a little bit I've put multiple phone cords in here connect to multiple phones it just happens I did some research and OEM audio plus makes an insane uh, stereo upgrade for this Jeep to fix the issue that I'm having right here it's got two amplifiers it's got a subwoofer it's got all eight speakers it is like the full shablam and I 100% as soon as I was driving around like the second day I thought it was my phone cord at first to be honest I thought hey I got a phone cord maybe I'll switch it out as soon as I got this thing home basically I was like I need to upgrade this I looked into it I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to get the OEM audio plus uh, they make an insane system for this thing and also like the car play doesn't get that loud and then uh, the other day I'm like what happens when I take the roof off how am I supposed to hear this shit so all in all the stereo is just kind of shit the second thing I don't like about this Jeep that I honestly for someone who is extremely knowledgeable and into cars I didn't realize I was getting a dual battery group when I got this so this has a dual battery system it's amazing at what it needs to do it does a really cool job but it's also a huge pain in the ass for people like me that like to work on their own cars so all right so everybody knows like this is a car battery this is the main battery this is the big boy i found this <laughs> i found this out the hard way if you take the positive positive and the negative off this battery there is a secondary battery underneath this fuse box underneath all kinds of that is extremely, really actually hard to get to. It's not easy to get to at all. So if you want to disconnect the battery for any reason, you got to put in a lot of work to do so. For example, I was debating building my own front bumper. At one point I did and I already bought one, it's on the way. But I was going to build a front bumper maybe. To do the welding, I would have to obviously completely tear this apart and disco both batteries so we don't blow them up. Not that it's a bad thing. It's a really cool feature. I'm happy I have the dual battery group, but it is a major pain in the ass if you like working on your own vehicle. If you ever need to take the battery off, just doesn't, it's not like five minutes and it's not like 10 minutes. It's like six days and some. Number three, I kind of complained about this one a little bit already. Uh, it's a Chrysler. Fiat or Stellantis or whatever they're going by nowadays. I don't know. The quality reflects that. This is, it's not a Chevy. It's not even a Ford. It's just rude. It's rude. I know I like kind of contradict myself there. It does what it needs to do amazingly, but the fit and finish, the total pack, it's got a Chrysler ting to it. Like check this out. I haven't shown anybody on my channel this actually yet because I was a little, I was a little embarrassed. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but when I bought the Jeep, I opened it, closed it. This guy, he's... What's going on? It doesn't do that on any other door. So I grab him to see what's going on. And uh, he just, 
what he, he just comes out that's so that's good that's actually not good because like you know if you have a girlfriend who isn't the one that's in love with your vehicle she comes out to grab something goes like this it's raining it's snowing whatever it's doing it's getting in your door like literally in your door um so i took it to the dealership and they peeled this back just because i actually didn't know what, like what to do behind this here there is a hole oh there's a hole where there's supposed to be a set screw that holds that in and from the factory this thing didn't have the set screw hence chrysler quality came off the assembly line 100 miles an hour didn't even have the set screw i actually should call them i ordered it like three weeks ago and i have no idea where it is it's not a big deal but like you know what i mean there's just a bunch of little like that jeeps have a history of uh re leaky roofs and they use like this little foam right here to you know weather seal this and that's obviously going to be an item that needs to get replaced at once every like couple years probably because everybody knows foam slowly dies again just a little thing it works now it's great now but one day that will stop working and i'm not going to tear the jeep apart and show you all the little imperfections and complain about shit. i chose to buy it before this i had a brand new chevy and courtney has a brand new subaru and just like the out of the box quality is just a it's just a little better than this and it's a little sad but it is what it is because at the end of the day where you lose quality on that end you gain an amazing amount of quality on the other end where it can do stuff and go places the other sh can't so number four moving over to the booty this one i don't know how you would resurrect this like this is just something that pisses me off but i don't know what the solution is i don't think there is one teslas suffer from the same problem they're just not they're just not meant for weather almost now i'm actually a big fan of the rear end of the jeep i really like how this opens you can get the little tailgate table and then you got your separate glass if you need to get in there do whatever you got to do something that is drives me absolutely insane more actually with rain than snow because snow you can brush it off when it's raining and this is wet and you open this it launches perfectly perfectly off and into the jeep so if you have a little bit of snow on there or like a little bit of water when you open it dude this gets wet or snowy and it's so annoying like i said there's not really much you can do about that but for the fact that they have rain runoffs on the whole damn thing i don't know maybe they could have put one there i don't you know the final complaint that i have with this jeep is a summary of basically everything that i have just told you uh the price the price of these things is so much more than they are worth when you want one you kind of don't have a choice you get rooked into it the broncos even more so like you know you see a jeep going down the road gladiator wrangler and they're waving at each other they're going we're, we're fucking poor dude we're poor that's what the jeep wave is this thing is just a sport it's an unlimited sport it's nothing fancy with tax this was almost a sixty thousand dollar jeep that's fucked up to me i justified it it's what i wanted so i spent money on it not to say it makes me miserable but i definitely don't drive down the road thinking like yo this was the best 60 g's i ever spent i think like for 60 g's i wish my fucking radio sounded better i wish i didn't just put fucking water in my trunk it's just a kick in the balls on the flip side of that they hold their value these are probably the best vehicles period uh subaru is like the best brand as a brand subaru holds their value like no other as an individual vehicle this thing holds its value like that's why i bought a brand new one one that was 10 years old was like almost as much as this so i mean you're paying a lot but it's it's not like it's depreciating a lot which is nice anyways those are the five things i hate about this jeep i would buy it again i would recommend it to a friend and if you hate jeeps thank you i love you you give me motivation every day to build this thing and show you guys how cool they are. So, so yeah, if there's anything that I missed or anything that you guys would like to tell other people who are down in the comments, make sure you leave a comment down below. I got to get inside. I'm cool. To f Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay committed.